Listen to the following professor's explanation in class. After listening, you can answer the listening questions on the link contained in the description. Okay, class, let's talk about a recent study. A recent study, led by Sana Tenover, has discovered that the timing of our brainwaves plays a crucial role in how we perceive our environment. The research team aimed to determine whether this neural timing also influences speech perception. They hypothesized that the probability of speech sounds or words might be encoded in our brainwaves and that this information could be used to recognize words. To test this hypothesis, the team created ambiguous stimuli for both sounds and words. For example, they noted that the initial sounds in da and ga differ in probability, with d being more common than g. Similarly, the Dutch words dat for that and gat for whole also differ in word frequency, with dat being more common than gat. For each pair of stimuli, the researchers created a spoken stimulus that was somewhere in between. Participants were then exposed to each ambiguous stimulus and asked to select what they thought they heard. The team used magnoencephalography or MEG to record the timing of brainwaves. The researchers found that brainwaves bias perception towards more probable sounds or words when stimuli are presented in a less excitable brainwave phase. Conversely, Perception was biased towards less probable sounds or words when stimuli were presented in a more excitable brainwave phase. This suggests that both the probability of an event and its timing influence what people perceive. Brain regions typically associated with speech sounds versus word processing were sensitive to the probability of occurrence of sounds versus words. Through computational modeling, the team confirmed the relationship between neural timing and perception. They concluded that brainwaves provide a temporal structure that enhances the brain's ability to predict and process speech based on the probability of linguistic units. Predictable speech sounds and words have a lower threshold for activation, and our brainwaves reflect this. Knowledge about how probable something is, and what it is, which phoneme or which word, work hand in hand to create language comprehension. Senior author Andrea Martin added, that their study has important implications for theories of predictive coding. They demonstrated that the time or phase of information processing has direct consequences for whether something is interpreted as a more or less likely event, determining which words or sounds we hear. In the fields of speech and language processing, most emphasis has been put on the neural communication role of neural oscillations. However, they showed that, Properties of phase coding are also used for interpreting speech input and recognizing words.